on 2010. Their first ever meeting. You know, I want to ask you as well, just about what we saw just now, Lin Win Ru and uh, now Gao. I mean, these two, Gao maybe less so, but uh, the, the mentality of just how stoic they are, it, it's incredible. Yeah. They act like they've been performing out here for so many years. Right. And if you look at... Even when the what? chips are down. Even when the chips are down, I mean, that one there against the Minru could have easily gone two zero down against the Lexi Lebrun, but it's just a, how unflappable they are. Um, but uh, yeah, two players here who are quite happy to rally. So we expect to see a lot of entertaining exchanges. It, it's, t it's tough to say who China would rather face out of these two teams. Because I mean, Gao Zhong Rei, one of the biggest movers and shakers of last season, alongside Lin Shidong and Felix Lebrun. And you said Gao also pushed one routine, right? Yeah, the final of the Asian Championships in the team event. <laughs> now, Gozi is one of the most miraculous talents ever. Right. In terms of his feeling, how many shots he actually has in his portfolio. I'm interested to see how Gao Zhongwei can tame that talent. A former top 10 player, Seymour Guzzi. Very, very talented. He's got plenty of flair about him, hasn't he? Oh, he embodies French flair. Amazing away from the table, amazing improvisation. I also want to ask you, just because you were commentating on the other men's semi-final, China have looked about as vulnerable as you can remember the men's team today against Korea. Does that just give everyone else a little boost? That little bit more of a push today. We need to get into that finals to face China. Or are China just going to come roaring back? You've got to just treat each match at a time. They will have thought about it briefly when they saw China go 2-1 down, but here they are. Got to fight for this final. This one is about, it's a very, very close one to call, isn't it? Both very explosive players. Gauzy in front by two. A lot of players of talent who have that creativity play better with a smile on their face when they're enjoying the process. He doesn't want to try and make this a contest to Mongozi. He needs to embrace his nature, which is to play quite freely. Almost do what he wants, not think too much about tactics. Playing some great shots, isn't he, Gauzy? The fanning backhand there, look at this feeling. Into the middle and then, what a counter. Now, just have a look at the momentum here. Well in favour of Gozi. Now, also, Fraser, we've got to... As we always do when we're working on these ties, you look further down. The third one is always crucial. Whoever wins this, their team goes 2-1 up. And then we've got this lip-smacking tie, haven't we, of Felix Lebrun versus Lin Win Roo. <laughs> I mean, I don't, a brave man to call that one. You would be. It's one all in their head-to-head. -head. Felix won their last right. encounter, though, 3-0. He's the highest-ranked non-Chinese player, Felix Lebrun. <laughs> yeah. Six in the world. I'll put my head on the chopping block. Go I reckon if Simon wins this, France win it. If Gao Zhongwei wins it, Chinese Taipei win. Five game points. Gozi converts the first one. He needs to shake it off, as you just saw there. And it's France with the early lead, but don't forget, they've had that before. It hasn't helped.
11 5 to Gozi against Gao Zhengrei. So Gozi with a, let's face it, a very comfortable first game against Gao. Second game, France to serve, love all. Just needs to maybe just settle himself here. Chinese Taipei player. Love one. He might feel a bit more pressure to finish the rally sooner, Gao Zhengwei, after what we saw in that first game. Simon can rally all day. I mean, training in Ostenhausen with Ugo Calderano. We've seen some of the crazy stuff they do in training, and he's so consistent. Now, if it's just of any consolation, Gao, yesterday against Patrick Francisca, lost the first game and then the second one was he won 16-14 so he was on the brink of losing 2-0 and then the next two games were 11-9 11-9 it was a really tight one against Francisca so he's been there done it before Gao he'll be telling himself you can do it. You can still do it. Three, two. A new member of this squad in terms of the world champs. Wasn't there last time out? Gao. He looks frustrated, Gao. That's the thing about Gozi, he wins so many rallies by scrambling. And that's what frustrates the players it is up against. It, it looks like he purposely lulls them into a false sense of security, Gozi, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> Look at this. He's inspired here, Gozi. Yeah. He's playing some great stuff here. Tomahawk chop block, and then he wraps right around that ball. You have to play so many different shots. You have to be so relaxed against Gozi because of all the different spin variations you're getting. Look at that. Again. Uh, he's playing. You asked that he play with freedom, and well, that's happening right now. He's being allowed to express himself. Look at that. Absolute domination. He's won 12 of the last 16. The only predictable thing is unpredictability. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that back. You kidding me, Gozi? <laughs> Another fantastic point. You can only look over the right smile. Go. That is a chop that Juice Hyuk would have been proud of. He's absolutely butchered it, Gozi. Yep. Sometimes you just got to sit back and admire. Three, go. Seven. He has been second best so far, quite clearly. And he needs something pretty special from here. For you, what does he need to do, Fraser? Go. I think he has to try and be as direct and deep as possible. Because only when it's kind of slow and when Gozi's got time will he then try and use his feeling. 
Not particularly. He's trying it actually here now. He's trying to serve with more topspin and then go driven straight away. So you're saying more pace? Yeah, earlier on. Don't try and construct the rally against Gozi. Because you can see the longer it goes on, yeah. the more the Frenchman's in his elements. And then he can play his array of shots. Exactly. It is just so refreshing to watch, though, isn't it? Yeah. Hugely entertaining, really is. That was a lovely counter, wasn't it? Eight, Nicely done, bike out. And this is a young man here who had a fantastic WTT contender, Lima. First WTT singles final of his career, and he beat Aruna and the Whoa! European champion, Dan Cho. That's how good he is. Gozi here, someone who <laughs> has had a bit of a big pill to swallow in the last 12 months, is doing very well. Yeah, I think he was probably quite confident of uh, securing an Olympic spot not too long ago. And uh, that looks all but gone now in the singles uh, anyway. Five game points here for Gozi. The LeBron brothers have come out from absolutely nowhere. I mean, you expect Felix to be there, but it's to the, the number two. Team there for France? Sorry. In terms of the number two, it's, it's a bit more up for grabs. Yeah. You don't think it's necessarily a given that Alexi will get it? I mean, long term, right, it really probably affects Alexi if he wasn't playing in Paris. But at the end of the day, you can't be sentimental. Yeah. Two game points saved so far by Gao. Remember, we saw this earlier from Lin Win Ru, but he's not there yet, is he? And Simon Gozi, very quick so far in this third match. He's been excellent. So, Gozi, 11 7 here. He wins that second game against. Gao Cheng Rui, and he's two up now. And this is a huge one for this uh, semi-finals. Felix Lebron, we saw him earlier with a superb win over Chuang. And Lin Win Ru, how good was he in his defeat of Alexi Lebron? That match is the next one up. It's worth noting that this is the first Asian team that France are playing at this World Championships. That's a good point. So the game, Chinese Taipei. In the groups, they had Denmark, Austria, Australia, and Algeria top the group. And in the knockouts, they've had Poland and Portugal. One. Yet for France. Now, let's see what Gao can do here. He's got to recall what he did against Patrick Francisca yesterday. One, four. I make that point because stylistically, East Asians are so different yeah. from the rest of the pack. Let one all. True. In terms of the timing, the way they meet the ball, their philosophy, their speed. Yeah, it was interesting that one, that draw looked quite East Asian on one half of it and European on the bottom half of it. Yeah. Singapore and uh, Chinese Taipei in a run, the only ones. Oh. 
<laughs> Again, he's just getting back these shots so well. You don't know what's high percentage and low percentage with Gozi. That's why he excites the crowd. It's like, why would you choose intentionally what seems to be a low percentage shot? It just doesn't seem logical, yet he makes that time and time again. Counter on Tio Tiff here. Now that's uh, a timeout here for Chinese Taipei. Nice the side, but so, some great stuff coming up here on the WTT. The big one, Singapore Smash, happening in just a couple of weeks from now at the Singapore Sports Hub. Do get your tickets at the Singapore at singaporesmash.com. And after that, we are actually coming back here uh, at the end of March, but uh, right next to the capital Seoul in Incheon, it's the WTT Champions Incheon 2024, presented by Shinhan Bank. And uh, that one will be tremendous. First one here. Now, Gao looking for the timeout. And he's hoping to turn things around here. Coming back and again, it's just coated with backspin. It's a shot that I first remember seeing from Kenta Matsudaira, Japanese guy, who had amazing tomahawk serves as well. Come around the other side of the ball is what you would with the chop block. But he's doing as we knew he should. Not think too hard about the tactics. Right. And just play his stuff, Gozi. Nice little shimmy. Good pressure from Gao Chong Rei. The only kind of swing to the roundabout of Gozi's style is that because of his willingness to play the open stuff, you sometimes get a bit more time against him, but you can see here actually how good his backhand is. I think he's a bit underrated with the backhand side, Simon Gozi. You know, we think of the best backhands in the world as Haramoto, Fan Jin Dong, Dmitry Ocharov, Lin Win Ru, but I think Gozi's is on the list as well. Big sweet spot. Now, just it, this is probably about as good as it's been for Gal so far in this match. needs to win this to keep this match alive. <laughs> well, you said just about anything that's thrown at him, he'll throw it back. That didn't look possible from where he took that. Oh. Feng Sin looking towards the other members of Team Chinese Taipei Zot to say, what <laughs> on earth? Oh. Yeah, this looks like it's inexorably going towards Simo Gozi. France taking a very important lead here. Looks a shadow of what he was yesterday, Gal. I mean, he was good against Portugal, Gozi, but 
This is the best I've seen him play in ages. Oh, yeah, what a time to be bringing out a performance like this. I know, right? The semi-final of a World Championships. Yeah, massive. Absolutely massive. Four match points for Gozi. That is a hugely clinical performance from Gozi.